Gay Productions is an infamous YouTube channel now with over 2 million subscribers, run by an 18-year-old Iranian boy named Amir. Now, Amir's YouTube channel has received endless criticism over the years by some of YouTube's premier commentators for being one of the worst channels on YouTube. And honestly, the criticism is pretty much all valid. I mean, you would be hard-pressed to find more insufferable content on YouTube that is getting at least a noteworthy amount of monthly views. Who was that? What was that sound there? It's scary, guys. Oh my god. I can just close the door. To describe his content, I'd like to briefly hark back to a video made by my friend Critical in July of 2018. This channel's name is NNA Productions, and it's so generic it makes Nickelback look like rock and roll pioneers. This channel is a scientific anomaly that challenges our very understanding of the basic particles of the universe. Now, it's been about a year since Amir was put through the commentary community ringer, if I may call it that, in which millions of people were exposed through the lens of their favorite commentator to just how deplorable his content was. Now, the fall out from this exposure on Amir's end was quite substantial with his like to dislike ratio getting demolished and his comment section being overtaken by negative comments but ultimately exposure whether good or bad can be a benefit to those on the receiving end as long as they are able to withstand the emotional implications of dealing with a sudden influx of criticism and negative feedback and just ride that wave this is after all the persistent catch-22 of the commentary community as we often shine a huge spotlight on the creators and influencers many of us believe don't deserve any light at all but if we're being honest signal boosting shitty content is the least of our worries when there's potential to make an entertaining video for our audience and snag a few bags of ad revenue on the back end. So fast forward now, a year later, and Amir from NNA Productions is still holding strong. Coming off of the commentary community pummeling, he continued pumping out the most formulaic hot clickbait trash multiple times a week and still makes more money annually than a majority of college graduates their first 10 years out of school. Now, I get comments all the time to do a video on NNA Production, and as you can tell, I finally am, but in an attempt to not just regurgitate all of the same this dude sucks lol commentary made by my YouTube contemporaries over the last couple of years, I want to look at this through a different lens. A lens that casts aside the objectively horrific quality of content and instead views his <clears throat> achievements <coughs> through an entrepreneurial lens void of any YouTube biases. But first, I have to at least peek to see what he's been up to. I mean, just to see if he's made any strides in the right direction or if he had some sort of content intervention and it's allowed him to make something even remotely palatable. So let's just take a glance at his most recent. Dear guys, let's do this. Boom, now you guys had to smash the like button! Yeah, so the fidget spinner smash the like button stick still going strong in 2019. You love to see it. You wanna join my free gift cards giveaway? Subscribe to my channel, like the video, and notifications on. I mean, can you even compete for the prestigious title of YouTube's worst creator if you don't have a fake free gift card giveaway at the beginning of your videos? I mean, my man has covered all of his bases. Hey, let's go! Welcome back to another brand new video, another day, another banger. Because that's what I said, though, we have a really special video, right, guys? So another day, another banger is another one of his catchphrases, and I actually took the time to look it up on Google Translate, and what it really means is, hello, guys, welcome to another video. Uh, this will be another opportunity that might compel you to bang your head into the pointed, sharp end of a letter open. Right, guys? And it's kind of sad and scary, all right, guys? So, guys, I know all of you guys know who's I'm Gestation, all right, guys? I'm Gestation is a YouTuber who does 3 a.m. videos just like me, all right, guys? Like me and I'm Gestation, we do 3 a.m. videos, all right, guys? And recently, I'm Gestation got attacked in his house, all right, guys? And it is really, really sad. Like, it's really bad, all right, guys? The hater did this to him. Like, I'm just gonna say, guys. Now, this one has always perplexed me, but another Another very consistent characteristic of F-tier YouTubers is their habitual egregious abuse of the word guys. In fact, you guys remember Eli Socre? Guys, y'all will not believe what I just found, guys. I was walking through the park on my early morning jog, guys, and of a park, guys. 
You guys are not gonna believe what I found because my discovery is insane, guys. You will not believe, so I cannot believe myself. Everybody smash the like button right now to see what I just found, guys. Why, gentlemen, must you abuse the word? Such malice. What did the word guys ever do to you? Give it a break and let the word breathe for just more than a sentence. Please, I beg of you. I'm just gonna do a little edit though and just get through the next few minutes of this video, but I'm just gonna leave in the word guys for you. Guys, 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 guys,
I don't know, really, what? <laughs> Somebody give me a hand here, throw me a bone. What is. <laughs> there has to be some sort of justification for the views. How is he getting this? How is he getting this? Hey, he's doing, he's doing right by his family, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what else. Sorry. So in summary, I don't really know what I'm talking about. All I know is that his content is like a plague and it makes me want to swan dive head first into a wood chipper. So, <laughs> thanks for watching. <laughs>